I'm here today at the Crawley Mellor event. This is being held at the Hawth in Crawley and it's really celebrating the diversity that Crawley represents, the multicultural uh, communities that are all part of Crawley and it's, it's celebrated through music and through dance and through lots and lots of food as well. I'm also here with my Youth Commission members. With them I'm having conversations with local people about policing and crime um, and things that matter to them in their local area. About 15 years ago there was a meeting about Stop and Search and we raised um, concerns about there being no accountability and where people should have something written to say that they've been stopped and searched. Because I experienced Stop and Search 20 times within six months. 20 times? Yes, about 12 years ago and I know the feeling was absolutely horrendous. Yes. There's a lot more tightening up around Stop and Search yes. and Sussex Police I know have signed up to all the new rules and regulations Yes. and they're going you know, that, that bit further but it is so important to people. Yeah. yeah. We should be trusting the police, we should be going to the police for help but we're actually hiding away from the police. I think we need to work together yeah. to try and improve their perception and, and um, educate, educate the children about their rights. So the question I was going to ask is, do you see enough of them? And We did, at Fenny Screen Shops. There was a, a, an, an era when they were always policing the parade, but not so much now, to yeah. be honest. But do you feel it's fairly safe area, yes. crawling? Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Especially where we are in Fenny Screen. Yeah. Anti-social behaviour. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the thing is, I think that's, and it's quite low-level anti-social yeah. behaviour. Yeah. But well. then that can lead on but to then higher it can, levels. It can affect people's lives because if it's a long-term thing and it seems really petty. Yes. But that can affect people. If I go to maybe Broadfield Barton or somewhere in the evening or something, I wouldn't feel safe. I would prefer somebody to be with me. Okay. Because of um, maybe the increased crime rates or the things which have happened there. Yeah. So I am. I am a bit wary of that. Okay. One thing I would emphasize very, very hard is communication, communication, communication. We would like to have from the stolen some more information about what shall we do against the crime and how do we help police uh, communicate which really helps and cut the right uh, throughout the West Sussex area. The police need to communicate more and more with communities, individuals, to say what they are doing about all the worries and the problems that they have at the back of their mind and the problems that they face on a day-to-day -day basis. Hate crime for me is twice as annoying because I'm not actually Asian yeah. uh, and I, I get called all sorts of names and I'm thinking but you don't even understand what you're insulting. So your background's Italian? I'm Italian, wow. yeah. I, I'm a, I am a Muslim but I'm an yeah. Italian. It starts with because you've had a grievance with somebody and finishes because, well, you know, you're different to us so we can do this to you, yeah. kind of attitude. The cricket club I represent in Crawley is about 90% Asian from a very diverse Asian background. We've had our windows smashed. Um, we hardly go a week without one of our cricket teams being racially abused out on the pitch. Being a resident of Crawley, we've had fireworks through the door. What, through your own home? Through the home door, probably 20 years ago to where they are now, it's been an improvement, very much an improvement. And I think the police have gone further in understanding.